give up some early kills. Will he do it again today? Will XL be able to find it there? Behind in CSD, so creep score differential at the 15 minute mark. And we're seeing a little bit of that here as XL is behind and Jessica's behind as well, but not gonna be able to talk about that too much more as Cadred went in, got Dragon Rage kicked away. And I want to see how XL uh, keep the gold even in this uh, in this mid game, and then make fights happen. Oh, Innocent going in with the invade. Lots of damage going out to Nemesis. That's first blood. Charm lands onto XL as well. He's trying to jump away. Uses the flash. Kissing lands a good Winter's bite from the side, but just a little bit over extension from XL. Hold on. Speaking uh, of expect. Yeah, Whipper box the ghost. Expect looking for the chase potential here. Steals away the ultimate. XL gets jumped on in the mid lane by Brox. A great Sonic wave from him. Lands straight onto XL. That's an easy enough kill. Good stuff from Fnatic and Whippo actually managed to escape in the top lane as well. Look to secure it now. You can see Kedrog on his way down. That Richard isn't that low yet, but Kasing and Jessica have to worry about the fact that Nemesis is just going to get knocked up over the wall and the chase is on. Fear Beyond Death will not connect, but there's a lot of damage down as Kasing. Jessica jumping around. Great stuff from him to escape. Kasing gets away as well, but the Red Smite says not to turn Day. Fnatic didn't want the rift they just wanted the kill. They can't fight them on fair footing, so they're trying to shoot uh, Exile into opposite sides of the map. The problem is, is that they still had access to Rift Herald. Oh. They're still grouped up, they've still got the creep wave, and no one can stop them. There's not enough good wave clear on Exile to slow down Fnatic. And this inhibitor is going to be opened up in 20 minutes. It's great stuff for Fnatic. Expect steals away the fear beyond death, but Fnatic don't even really need to do too much more. They can look to push forward, they don't want it for the moment. Don't need the inhibitor. It's going to come down to execution, and I would still say that Fnatic are. Uh, better team fighters than what I've seen from Excel. If we get to four items of P2 skills, oh my god. Exile's dead. Reckless flashes forward for Exile actually almost gets away, but Reckless gets the kill. That was great reactions from Hillisang. Excel, last week you stole a Baron against Misfits. Can you do it again? It's on expect, hasn't got the answer as well, but this time Kedral can get into the pit, of course, dashing across the wall. 3,000 HP left on the Baron, 2,000 now. Fnatic waiting to secure it. They have the least in Sonic Wave kick. Yeah, Broxa just needs to go over this wall, kick him away, and then smite. Kedral kicked away, he smites it. That's how you do it, Roxa. Brox, have you got a, like a monitor five seconds ahead or something? Because you predicted that perfect. Much cleaner, much stronger. Fnatic seem to be back in action and coming back fighting against XL. And this question was, is, you know, is this dominant victory over XL enough for Fnatic fans to get excited about this team? Enough for us to forgive them of their previous sins in earlier weeks? Because they looked pretty hot today. They definitely did. Roxa gets the kick away. He's just trying to get the final fights off. The Nexus goes down. Fnatic with their second win as they fell XL here in goes on a very early springboard and win in this initial. Oh, take a look at this. Perks and Mickey, they're running down Healy. 100 HP, flash forward. First blood picked up by Perks and Mickey. They're not done just yet. Reckless has got 400 to burn through and there's not enough damage to kill him. Uh, up until that last wave, Nemesis was about 10 CS down. Healy's going to get stunned up. He's got no flash available. There's an engage in the top lane. It is Broxa. Look at the knockup. Wonders flash to the carry far enough. And it is very clear who Berlin is cheering for. Fnatic pick up and set still of the game. Hilly is going to concede his life. Not going to be able to do more than that. Another kill to G2 as well as a tower. Jankos is Ragnaroking now on top of Reckless's head. Flame Chompers will simply not be enough. And there's no Super Mega Death Rocket. Double kill for Perks. So Reckless that drops him down to 50% HP. Uh, for what it's worth, Frosk, I think Perks and Mickey have been throwing absolutely everything onto them the entire time. Here comes Broxa, this is the engage from Nemesis. Sonic Wave connects, Dragon Rage for the kick. Listen to that crowd. Fnatic faithful are here in spades, but this will not be a cheer as Whippo will not be able to get the Ord Horn. And Yankos runs him down, the G2 army in reply, celebrating as more plates fall. And as I was saying, it feels just breathless watching G2 because action is constantly happening. You never get a moment to breathe, you never get a moment to collect yourself because here comes Yankos. All right, there we go. This is why Mickey held on to his ultimate. Tried to set up another play. The lantern from Hilly was good. Flash forward. Chilling Smite comes down. Reckless is already down. Hilly's been able to escape for the time being. Whippo's starting to teleport. Oh, it's Nemesis that TPs. Insta Claw Doom to safety. Ultimate is not going to be enough just yet. Nemesis goes down. Now Broxa tries to find one. He does get a reply into Perks. That's at least something back for Fnatic. They are still down. A gigantic margin. The tower is about to fall. And without the tower for help, can Broxa survive? He's in a one on two. Yankos is the damage dealer. Mickey just needs to get some of that passive down. But look, Caps is coming as well. Oh, straight through the wall. Sleepy trouble, bubble! Into a paddling. Caps gets another. Nexus turret number one goes down. G2 Esports, they are decimating Fnatic where they stand. 
Sleepy Trouble Bubble connects once more. Nemesis is doing what little he can. Now there's a chance for a turnaround. One Nexus Tower remains. 13,000 gold up. The fastest win of Spring is still on the cards. And they are sharks. G2 can smell it. Blood in the water. They are charging and forcing this. Fnatic got dead in the water as G2 Esports have repeatedly killed them. The fastest win of Spring. So many times you'll see teams in drafts say like, we understand how this early game is going to go. We can give away these power picks because we think that we can staunch the bleeding long enough that we'll be able to make some sort of counterplay that our time will...